Argo Food Groups are integrated end-to-end -end red meat supply chain with a focus on retail and e-commerce consumers around the world. The aim of the paddock to plate value chain strategy that we embarked on with the MLA was to take what we've done in all other markets and execute that successfully in China, being uh, retail ready products produced and shipped from Australia, delivered to the end consumer, being a retailers in the China market. The Chinese market is enormous and it's got a lot of challenges in terms of importing the products from documentation to specific shelf life requirements to the clearance procedures and the distribution through the value chain, particularly with the retail market and an e-commerce market. It's not like any other market. It's very difficult to get chilled products into the market efficiently, quickly, um, without too much risk. So we focused on what about if we produce a product chilled, we then fro snap froze the product, we export it frozen, we distribute it frozen, we get it to every retail store frozen, but then they market and put it in the cabinet in a chilled form with 28 day shelf life. The MLA were key in the strategy. We previously worked with the MLA on a co-innovation project for three years, which really identified to a degree some of the opportunities because we used those learnings of those three years and built our non-China retail business. We then took those same learnings, worked with the MLA on the ground in China to actually do tastings and demonstrations in stores, to engage with the consumers, to ask a lot of questions and interview them. The path that industry's been on over the last few years is, is from commodity-driven, uh, let's say, food processor and more towards brand owner. And in order to do that, you need to have a, a, a much bigger understanding of, of the consumer trends uh, and also the more the trade trends, um, but and, and take a marketing view, not just a sales, sales view. So we, MLA can really help with understanding the consumer and we can share those insights with, with brand owners. So, We've conducted a number of, uh, of market research projects in China, which aim to understand consumer, help us segment those consumers, help understand what drives them, and really try to identify um, you know, some areas which can help us position the country of origin brand, but also help business owners such as Argo uh, with, with their own strategy as well. Our advice to other producers would be always take a diversified approach to both markets and products. Knowing your customer extremely well, their expectations and their desire for the products they want and always delivering to those expectations is key. The right partnerships also within the supply chain being your processing partners, the MLA for example, and for us, our supply chain integrity platform that we've been working on with KPMG Origins. The main benefit was actually getting access to more retailers because it was a new product offering. There was no one else offering the product and we were able to get product into the market, hold it in inventory, which was particularly helpful, for example, when there's trade disruptions or port congestion or, for example, during COVID. We had a lot of product in the market in a freezer that we could actually distribute to the retailers in the, at a time when the market was booming, particularly for e-commerce.